Today is my birthday and uh, coincidentally we are doing the video shoot for the department, um, making it memorable for ourselves and um, so that when we go back in the future we'll be able to relate and uh, see how far we have been able to go. My name is Fakule Ayodele Paul. My name is Adisa Ayobami Olamile Kon. Radishida Adibinkpe Adeyinka. I'm Kolapo Bukola Bidemi by name. Awuni Adeshina Ayodeji. Adibo Ali Olushala Samuel. Popular known as Sula. Daniel Olawoye. Aruwo Jolu Elizabeth Titilayo. Fakayode Gamlari Inyoluwa. I am Belu Ayomide Adedola Po. Adegolu Ayoba Imano. I'm Adeni Iyanuluwa Molola. Mojoke Ide Emmanuel. Udola Olalekon Abi. Mraji Utman Olalekon. Ajayoluwa Tobilo Baino. Emmanuel Po. Salam Azim Oluruti Lawa Abayo Mikende. Oh, he called me Adeso. Mustafa Abi Fola Kineji. Ajadiso Ode Kabayomi. Tobinda Ode Tomi Seche. James Oluwa Tobilo Aba Samo. I'm Alta Kingsley Dembo. Izo Ola Bia Yola Isaac. Fola Yola Tapo. Ola Baji Yola Ya Vito. My name is Ayodele Victoria Yanolua, Adura Gbemi, Adoni. Yeah, I got into FUTA year 2015. I applied for electrical, electronics, of which I was not given. So I was given metrology as something I just had to go with. But quite, other than that, I was not really expecting anything just to come and learn and be a good boy, as I was told to be from home. Expectations were very high, because I was actually willing to come into school and do well. Do well in all ramifications. I don't want to be restricted to one, probably academics only. I want to be multifaceted. To do well academically, um, also um, make my parents proud. Um, at the end of the day, I'm able to, you know, go outside and find solution to problem, not only adding to population. I was aspiring for meta maths, which is metro, metallurgical and material engineering, but unfortunately I found myself in metrology. So I don't have anything to do then. Let's put in our best and see how everything goes. Um, I think I started liking FUTA since GSS3. I've always wanted to come to FUTA. I had no other school in mind. I loved the way my brother carried himself when he came back from school. I think he was around 200 level then. I really liked the way everybody was all over him. <clears throat> you know, studying in like the best engineering school and all of that. And then I think after watching this movie, Three Idiots, actually like made me want to come to FUTA. Like, yeah, it would probably look like Imperial College of Engineering, sort of. I was like, yeah, high expectations and all of that. Um, I wanted to be an architect because I came in through pedigree and I put in for architecture, but I was given metrology. So when I was given, I was having second thought of coming back, but um, my parents pushed me to go ahead to go on and do it. So. My expectation was to come here and be successful, just like everybody uh, is in my family. Um, well, first thing, when I first saw my admission letter uh, sent by JAM, I saw four years, so I was expecting a four-year course, one. Then two, I was expecting to be like a, you know, a tech, a genius in technology, especially in metrology. Go to school, study, have fun, Learning one or two things while I school that's all. I had great expectations because I have been seeking for admission for like two, three years. So I was like, once I just get here, I need to be serious. I will not be playing. I will just, most of my times, I'll be able to read everything. Just, just get the best out of the university. That was my expectation. Well, I've always been someone who admires nature so much. And I think it's the mystery that nature's holds that has pushed me or led me to FUTA and most importantly into the metrology department. I actually put in for virtual, but, but they changed it actually to estate management. So, so, during, the, so during the course of registration, so, so I was told that 
I didn't offer uh, economics in my jump, in my jump. So I was unable to think for estimate. So, so now I'm here in metrology and climate science. Um, when I was coming into FOTA, I expected, <laughs> I was hoping that uh, it was graduate in first class. Ah, uh, you know, you don't do everything. Everything will be easy. No stress. Later I will teach you. You know, nothing, nothing. You just go to class. After going to class, you teach you, you do exam, and you. Uh, <laughs> reverse was the case. Um, I didn't have much expectations. It was just there. Coming into Futa, let me start from the course I put in for, which is architecture. But you know how Nigerian education is and the university system. I was given um, building technology and along the line due to various courses that's jam combination, I was later pushed into metrology. I think the major aspiration I have in coming to Futa is to go deep, to venture more into metrology because I, I, I'm already into the system before I came to Futa. So I feel the main thing that drives me coming to Futa is to broaden my knowledge more on metrology. Coming to Futa from my GSS3, I've been dreaming to be an architectural. So, Come to Futa, I want to be an architecture and coming, I want to as a design for anything that I can design and if I can't attain that, I should be a builder. So that's why I'm choosing Futa. I choose Futa because of the technological aspect, you know, due to the course I wanted to study, which is in material science and metallurgical engineering. So I have to choose Futa because it's one of the best technology school in not in Nigeria in the world because of um, all the products we have been seeing and we have been hearing from this one. Well, my expectation coming to Futa was to be a great, uh, an, an, a great engineer, an electrical engineer for that matter, but then entering this Futa, we found ourselves in the Department of Metrology and Climate Science, but then we have no choice than to move ahead. The reason why I chose Futa was because I felt I knew somebody in Futa that I could just stay with for a moment for blending into the outside world because I have been with my parents all, all year from primary school, secondary school, I went to a day school and all. So I didn't really know how to give it up by myself. So see, knowing somebody that was already in Futa, I felt coming to Futa and staying with this person and probably showing me around a way to cope and all. Um, my first expectation um, is actually to become a great metrologist. Actually, when I, when I picked the course, because I chose the course myself, I didn't really know much about it, although I was fully aware that it's the study about um, the weather. And the second thing um, is to, um, from there, get to know more about um, space science. But I was shocked. There's nothing like that. I, you know, I've heard a lot about Futa before actually coming here, so I was already prepared for the battle. I actually believe and was ready for it. I expected that at some point I would read my book and actually graduate the two and like every regular student. My strategy was to be a, a wonderful, a creative architecture, like a successful one. That not matter. But obviously I'm a, a wonderful methodologist, argumentologist. My field trip, where we had to like go to a kitty and then we spend time in a kitty. So my own place, I really loved it there. It was really a fun time for me. Although we supposed to spend three weeks, but I think we spent two weeks. But yeah, it was really very fun because I was in IT's group, so everybody was really disturbing, like <laughs> calling us husband and wife and something like that to get. And then the phone and means everybody tries to know one another, and I was able to see people differently, like in their own who they have. Meeting people, meeting people in this wonderful department and meeting people like you. <laughs> um, that would be spending time mostly with my friends, with people around me. And that would be my best memory, you know, where we all meet and have fun together. 
Making friends here in Futa was a tough thing for me. So when I finally got some, I, some like, let me mention but a few. Adesua, Faith. At least meeting those set of people in my life, it actually made me to, to be loved. One of the best moments I had in Futa was during the field trip where we were able to know your departmental mates better, able to see them, you sleep together and you know, you see them in uh, more, more, uh, how will I put it now? You know, try to see them better and know them better. Cool. My, one of my best experience was when we went for IT. That was in the 100 level. That was when I noticed that metrology is not about primitive equation and all this continuity equation alone, but you have to know some softwares. I think that one will be a better ground for you so that you can move forward in this line of study. My best experience when I went for IT, which I worked in an airport and I felt, I felt fulfilled seeing airplanes and working with something I actually wanted to do. That would be in 200 level. Um, when I got a, uh, a scholarship <clears throat> from Impact, um, Impact Award Leadership Initiative and affiliation to Impact Leaders Club, it was really, really mind-blowing. I was not expecting it. I didn't apply for any, inter um, for any scholarship and somehow I just got picked. And that was like a few days to my birthday then. It was like a bad, bad thing for me. My stay in Futa has been a process and I like appreciate every step I've taken. I can look back at my life and I, and I can like tr make track of progress like since the beginning of my days in Futa. Um, that should be when I was on IT. During my IT, I was able to meet a lot of people. I was able to learn new things. Uh, I was able to leave the premises of Futa and see how it is outside. And I was able to gain a lot. And that made me, or made a memory for me. Oh, <clears throat> I remembered when I was in 200 level second semester. And when one of my friends just came up to meet me and they said, our relationship officer is, was calling me. So I was surprised. Ah. Who knows me? I'm just getting to. By the time I got there, he showed me my results. And I was surprised because that previous semester, I didn't really work like that. I didn't really study art compared to semesters before. But I was actually happy because that was the best result so far as that day. So it was a memorable day for me. I was happy. Uh, I and my few of my friends, we took a time out. We went to Enrage Joshua Waterfall. Just few of my friends. And at that moment, I was grateful I was in Futa and I met those people. I'm the Kega chief of Futa, so through like all our, all our uh, adventure traveling, so, so it has made uh, Futa a, a, a nice place for me. Yeah, my best experience so far, that was when I was uh, elected as the president of this great faculty, that School of Earth and Mineral Sciences. Uh, it was so, so, so excited and I think it's one of my memorable parts in Futa. Uh, I've never really had a fantastic experience passing. Like, I've just been, it has been a roller coaster of up and down, sure, but at least we thank God. Um. Oh, I guess my friends, like the people I've come to meet with, and yeah, they have been the highlights of my stay in school so far. <laughs> that would be around 300 level when we went for our field trip. I love the togetherness which we shared then with the group. How we were able to showcase so many of what we've been taught in class and what metrology really holds in the future. The good memories was when we went for a uh, field trip 
I'm on field trip was a fun field. The fact that uh, I, we all have to spend uh, over a week together means a lot to me and we add fun to the fullest. Um, basically, time out with friends, um, some of the major courses that I actually love and of course, meeting good friends actually. I think my best experience in Futa was in 300 level. We went out for our food trip, from the bad things, and we have crazy things, we have true parties, make fun. I was actually seeing the life in school and I was actually seeing myself as the same person. And when we went for a field trip in Kere, then our field trip, I think uh, we were able to, to, to stay together with my, I stayed with, with my colleagues in Kere. We have a lot of field work, the experience, we shared a lot of memories together, we discuss different things. The best experience so far is uh, the idea shares with my colleagues. Our uh, moving together, the time spent together, that has been my best experience. Well, um, I guess that would be the moment I created for myself. I created um, a spoken word event and um, that helped my, um, my focus in uh, poetry, writing and all. Ah! My best experience was when my brother, when I was in 200 level, when my brother bought me my laptop. Yeah. The day I, I traded on Forex from, and I made, um, I think about $550 um, trading with, I think about $75 in just a day. The moment I saw, that was in 200 level. You know, it took a very long time before I actually checked my results. So I've actually, you know, saw a lot of people, other people carrying P6, 10 units. So, let me, so I actually imagined myself to be part of them because most of my friends, people I sat down with in the exam on that very day, they almost all of them carried the O3. So, so people carried the O3. So see that I only had one. I, I was very, you know, <laughs> I didn't have you. No, I was doing free trip. It was a wonderful moment. It was really wonderful because we get to know each other better. People you haven't been talking to, you get to like miss together, share experience, talk to the way we move, the way we, the way we organize things, the way we, you know, it was really wonderful. Mm, let's just say the, the people I've met, the. The relationship I built in Futa actually contributed to most of my best stay here in Futa. So I, I basically it's the relationship that I made. It I can remember it was 200 level during when I was vying for a post. I mean the at the faculty level as the vice president of the faculty. It was very tough on me because so many people I expected to be with me. They were with my opponent. You understand kind of thing? It was frustrating. <laughs> oh, actually, it was frustrating. But I think that I enjoyed that moment. Anyway, it's part of it. Well, 200 level days, I believe. Yeah, 200 level days. Uh, uh, life was quite challenging. But I'm, I'm the type of person who wouldn't disturb you, even when I'm not comfortable. So many wouldn't believe if it's actually your actually your card. Well it did and I a few of my friends that were staying then had to go around in the car. We we're staying at Westgate then, so I'm not really proud of it and I've it's not really something I'm really, really proud of each time I remember. But I would love to share it. We went to someone else's houses in this outside this compound with soil and unripe banana and we took it. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, <laughs> we did. Yeah, <laughs> we took it home. Yeah, um, so uh, we didn't have money or palm oil or granite oil to even make anything with it. Uh, what did we do? I think we had to scrape the um, plastic bottles from the previous purchases of palm oil. We had to melt it in order to just 
gains fuel or something to be able to fry the plantain. Okay, we fried the plantain and we were doing, we were like six. So, for fights not to occur, we had to do, make a kind of roll. It's called pick two. You pick two, I pick two, we pick two, to make it go around. <laughs> it's flashback to when I was um, in 300 level, second semester, thereabouts. I had a very um, broken heart. Yeah, I happened to lose my mom, which really hit me so hard. Um, as it is right now, I've healed, and yeah, that was it. You know, is it the days of uh, being hungry, having nothing to eat with my friend, my close friend there, eh? Trinity? You know, on many occasions, we have to starve only Gary at night, nothing else. And then we thank God for how far we've uh, come, even though it's still not of our own best expectation. But we believe that, the, you know, where we are going is somewhere of a greater height. Sincerely, many people have asked me this question, that where do you see yourself in the future, but I don't have a certain answer, but I know anywhere I find myself, I'm going to do my best to be the best in the field. Well, in the next 10 years, I see myself having a very big and well-established pastries, like a business of pastries and baking. And although I started work on that, so I hope in 10 years that will be enough so I've made that very big. And I also see myself as, you know, really well established in my academic life. Like when I mean my academic life, because I really want to also, let me just try and do something in metrology too. Even if I'm not going to be that good, good, like be the best in it. But at least let me just use it for something and be able to tell people that, okay, I went to this school, I finished with this, and I'm also doing this and also doing a business. Self-employed and doing very fine for myself probably not in this country. Okay, so being in Futa, like I said, I actually develop a passion for computer programming, of which I'm very vast in. I'm a web programmer and I'm a data scientist, so I see myself as a data scientist or a web developer in the next few years. I see myself in magazines, hopefully, yeah, because that's what I'm working on. I see myself in um, Organizing poetry events and becoming um, headlining a lot of events that has to do with poetry, writing, and um, literature in general. The next 10 years, I see myself as a very <coughs> established entrepreneur. I'm not really this 9 to 5 kind of person. So, a very successful entrepreneur and do what I love. Man, Man I wish to be a meteorologist. <laughs> Okay, in the next 10 years, okay, I hope the, in this education line, this academics line, so I would have done my master's, so, and business-wise too, I won't relent in that. Um, in the next 10 years, uh, I want to see myself as a, you know, as a boss. I want to be, I want to be the boss of myself, you know. I don't want to uh, you know, work under anybody. Um, the next 10 years to this time, uh, I want to picture myself as the boss of my own. Um, and, I, and I believe with God, all things are possible. To my own perspective, I'm hoping to be a climate scientist due to some of the softwares I'm exposed to. As an artist and as a footballer, I see myself playing on the TV and at the same time, been one of the best artists ever in Nigeria. I've always loved fashion, so maybe you'll be seeing a renowned fashion designer. So in the next 10 years, you'll probably be seeing Elizabeth as one of the known fashion designers in Nigeria. And of course, the public speaker always wanted to share a lot of things with youth. Anywhere we are, just go with the flow. I've always told my friend I don't see myself as someone that will work or be a um, white collar person. No, no, no. I want to be able to like work on my own. I want. I'm the kind of person that would use my talent to like get money for myself. So I don't think I would be an office kind of person. Life will be great, I believe, and I see myself. I 
I know life will be great. That I'm very sure of. Yes, in the next couple of years, I'm planning to, <laughs> I'm planning to travel as, uh, yes, uh, possibly Australia. So I've been, let me, so let me say I've been working on that. So I just pray everything works out. So uh, I see myself as one of uh, a political <laughs> leaders <laughs> in this great country. I hope so. Though uh, I start gradually, and then I cannot say in the next 10 years I'll become the Nigerian president. Definitely, that's not possible. So, but I see myself as one of the great uh, political minds in this country. Ah, in the next 10 years, I don't see myself in Nigeria. I heck, I'm already trying everything possible: scholarships, applications. I want to just leave this country, like. Though, even if I'm still in Nigeria, I still see myself, you know, in the agricultural sector, something like that. You know, I just want to aspire to greatness in whatever field I'm going to. And for now, I'm putting my efforts into creating art. Yes, yeah, so I hope to achieve excellence in the field of art I'm creating. Nobody knows what the future is. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, there are so many personal plans. I might end up stop, like working in metrology, but not very sure. I see myself forty more in the field of uh, metrology, like doing my masters. But I can't. I don't know if I'm going to further my study after masters. But I see myself having my distinct my master's uh, certificate. Look forward to great things, establishing myself as a, as a personality, as a brand at this point, and um, setting up my own studio. In 10 years, I see myself as a mid-pencil artist. I see myself as, as an executive chef and a businessman, because I like business a lot. And I hope to, uh, to continue in this line of uh, metrology, maybe possibly in the aspect of the climate change aspect. That's where I, I, I like to, to, to continue moving on. I actually see myself being the boss of my own. That's just it. In 10 years to this time, although I, w I may not be in this country, I'm, a, I'm looking forward to be an entrepreneur. I see myself writing. I see, I see myself doing music. And I see myself um, fulfilling God's purpose for my life. In the next 10 years, I actually see myself, you know, somewhere great, 100%. I believe that. I see myself on top of my career, being a great agrometrologist, for that matter. In the next couple of years, I see myself as someone in any field, which will definitely provide solution to any weather-related issues, and also as a businesswoman, because I really love business. So no matter the job I'm doing, I will ensure I bring business into it. So I'm planning to do that. So I will combine business with my field of study. So there's the possibility that some of your friends, you may not see them again for the next 10 years, some in the next five years, some till you die, you may never see them again. Yeah. And these colleagues have been with you for the past five years. How does that make you feel? And what do you have to say to these people that you may never see again? I actually wish everybody turns out way better than they even expected because we can't always keep relationships. Distance will always come in between. So wherever anybody finds yourself, in the nearest future, I hope it's where they expected and more. I, I really want to first say thank God for the opportunity to meet this kind of set of people. Because really meeting them is, let me just say it was divine. And they have been helpful. They have been loving people, intelligent people. I really love them though. <laughs> but I hope that they will be the best in whatever they tend to do or lay their hands on and be successful. So I want to just see them on team. I'm like, this person, you know, this person is the best in his field, the person is the best in his. I, I really want to like, see them. I'm like, wow, that's my friend, that's my classmate. Well, in a way, it makes me feel sad, but I guess it's only natural. I mean, we can't all be friends forever. We can't see each other for forever. So there'll be at some point that we won't see each other again. So I guess it's natural, but it still makes me feel sad. 
So what would I say to them? Um, just whatever you are, whatever you're doing, be the best and whatever it is you're doing and always make sure that um, you always come out on top, let me put it that way. Make memories because that's what will keep you for a very long time. Keep going. I wish them well. I just wish them well. They will do well in life. They've been part of me and they've really influenced me positively. And I say positively, they are really there. They tried, they tried, they tried. I was this kind of person that I don't make, make friends easily. I had been a, a friendly person, you know, probably before I entered Twitter. But when I entered Twitter, I just wanted to be myself. I wanted to live a, a lonely life, you know, that kind of thing that I don't want to make any friend. That was it. my intention of coming to school anyway. But when I got to school, I saw that life would be boring without friends. And thank God I made the decision to be open. So when Adeswa showed me a hand of friendship, I grabbed it and I, I never regretted doing that. You are right. It will be really it will be difficult to me to you know to leave them behind. So I think seeing them in the United States doing 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 good, doing fine, I think uh, uh, I'll be happy because it's inevitable. So leaving them is inevitable. So something like this is is I'm saying it's constant. But uh, I want to wish them best in the nice future. That's what I can say. You don't have to be in a in a group till the end of the life. But I think in anything we do, let's just try and put in our best because I know we are still going to somewhere and we are still going to meet somewhere in one day. Yeah I have um, I want to give a shout out to Yoma, I want to give a shout out to Paul so a lot of people I can't mention, but everybody in the department has actually been very great. But for others I know that I won't probably see again. I want to tell them to be good, enjoy life, have fun, do whatever makes them happy. They should live their dream because they don't want to live in regret. So live your dream and enjoy the process through which life is making them. Because for me, while going through life in Futa, I did not enjoy the process. I was also all about the hand. I wanted to see what would come out. I, I was, I had too much expectations and kind of I was not enjoying the process. I just wanted too much. So I think they should just enjoy the process. Enjoy everything that life is bringing to you. Don't see it too bad and you know, go wrong with it. Everything will be fine. And of course, we should meet in good places, high places, of course. Yeah. Shout out to myself. You know, easy. Ah. <laughs> And shout out to every other person in the department. I love you. Man, my charity department, it has, we've always been together. We've had each other's backs. Living friends in Futa generally, I don't think we can, there can be a break of transformation. For the fact that we are friends means anywhere anybody goes, we'll truly, I'll truly know where he is. And if it's somewhere that I know I can get to, sure, visiting my friend is not a big deal. I will miss my friends, my classmates, everybody. I'll miss Futa. I'll miss all the, all the good memories. All the good memories, all the everything, everything. I'll miss, I'll miss Futa. I'll miss my friends. Yeah, shout out to my friends, the, like, uh, the likes of uh, Ujo Kenji, Emmanuel, uh, Yoma, uh, Adesua and everybody. So, so shout out to my lecturers, the likes of uh, um, Mr. Mike, Dr. Steven, and every one of them. They are so lovely and nice. In every phase of life that we've actually been in, we always had to like evolve and you know leave the past or whatever behind. And like to grow, you have to actually do some things behind. So. I hope everybody, well, I wish everyone success in their field as well, but we we'll have to actually um, deep, or we'll have to accept the fact that we are not always going to be a community forever, you know, yeah. It would be a lie to say we would be seeing each other, but that is what social media is for. Definitely we will reach out and maybe we can plan reunions. We've been together for over five years now. So the fact that I won't be seeing some of them in, in the nearest future made me feel, uh, feel very sad.
because these are guys that we had in good memories together. Um, shout out to Buki, shout out to Kenny, shout out to Captric, shout out to Yuma behind the camera, shout out to all my female friends in the department. That sometimes they feel really, I don't know how to explain it, but along the line we got along. So yeah, shout out to everyone this school. In life we meet to part, our part to meet. And um, I'll just tell them that they should try to know who they are. And not everybody will, will actually attain that expectation. But they should try to get something from whatever thing they are facing. I think um, concerning that one, <laughs> you know, there are a lot of a lot, a lot of people in our department that you know <laughs> it's like we should be moving together, but you know. Uh, as God wills, after a program, if paraventure we may be together, but it's not something that that, will, that gives some, you know, you just have to... Well, then that's the normal phenomenon of life. Even during my secondary school days, there are some of my colleagues that I've not yet seen now, and there are some that I've actually met. Well, to me, I, I feel we could actually keep on going this way, because, but then, you just have to split no matter how. That's the nature of life. That just is. The five, six years I've spent in Futa, um, I've met a lot of people. Some have, have lost probably like connection-wise during this um, five, six years journey. And uh, I know it's not, it's not possible to keep contact with everybody. I'm going to miss um, a lot of people, especially those that have, um, one, in one way or the other, impacted in my life, joined me in my, in my struggle, in my vision, shared with, my, shared with me my, my dreams and my aspirations, like, talked to me, made me see the reason why I should keep doing what I'm doing, and gave me insight on one or two things. And, um, I, always, I hope I don't just lose them after now. I hope we still continue the, the connection even outside. Hotel. Well, um, first of all, I, I must commend everybody's influence, whether directly or indirectly, in my life. I mean, I learned a lot from people. But, um, initially, I used to be this, um, um, how do I put it now, this introvert. I don't like sharing moments with people. But then, um, at about my third year in Futa, I just couldn't help it but get along with people. And people, some people frustrated me, but some people, and along the line, well, the frustration turned, uh, turned me to something better. So, well, for people I may never see in life again, I believe we grow old and I rebuke certain death. I pray that um, they will be better in how they do and they will fulfill God's purpose for their lives. So my friends, the friends that I actually made on campus, outside, out of campus, my departmental mate and all, I'm actually going to mix, er, mix everyone. And, you know, to some as well, we'll be actually be connected forever. Although we can't actually put it off, you know, nobody actually knows what it's going to be, how it's going to be within the space of years and all. But uh, to everyone, to my best friends, I'm going to miss them all even though if after now we are not going to see ourselves. And uh, what is important is I wish everyone, you know, the great, the greatest part of life. I wish them all the best in all they do. Uh, but at the same time, I will tell them to keep on doing what they know they can do best. I will advise them. And one thing is, I will tell them is, Never to keep, never to stop trying, never to stop trying and they should try and channel all their efforts or everything they know they can do best. In fact, they should just put all their efforts because time, I know time with time, everything with time, time will tell. Time will define who we are, time will define everything with time. So. Initially when I came up with this idea to um, create a documentary for um, a department, I had no idea how 
um, the whole thing was going to go. Over the last couple of years, I've been creating videos for clients and I've been able to see what it feels like um, to have memories that they could reminisce about in the coming years. So if I had not done this, I'm pretty sure that in the next couple of years I would have been really, really sore uh, internally. Now, watching the entire video and seeing everybody talk about their experiences in school, um, the memories they created for themselves and where they see themselves in the next um, 10 years, 5 years from now. It is a mixed feeling of sadness and happiness because these are people that will spend 5 years with, um, 6 years, 7 years. Some people have gone way back even before they came into Futa and we are parting now. So many people may not see them again, some may see them in the next future, but we have no idea where life is going to take us. And this video is just for us to be able to see um, our journey in hindsight, the things we've accomplished um, after school and for us to be able to track um, our growth process and be able to track how our thought process was while we were in school. Um, first of all, I want to say I'm um, really, really grateful for the people that I came across during my stay in Futa. The list is so much. I really appreciate you all and I hope that in the near future, when we come to see ourselves again, we'll be able to have made um, substantial progress such that we'll be glad that we made contact with each other. Yes, there is the possibility that there are some that we may never see again in life. I wish um, everybody well. I pray that we all get to our respective um, direction and destinations in life. And even if you don't meet your goals, I still pray that you find happiness somewhere or the other. My name is Yuma Akwevu and I am the director and the producer of this documentary.